Buenos dias, buenos dias to this little Cosmos bull run here today on this Tuesday. Um, while everything is going pretty much sideways or even down, we're seeing that Cosmos is just exploding left and right. Everyone's talking about bad kids NFTs. Everyone's talking about Chihuahua, Puppy, and meme coins. And now we also see Cosmos giants waking up like Osmosis, Stargaze, that are finally waking up and making some decent double digit moves. But let's start here one by one. Looking at the top gainers in the past 24 hours, we see Sentinel up almost 50%, Stargaze over 40%, our beloved Chihuahua meme coin up 32%. And this one has just been going on this crazy, crazy run. Um, I think almost 9x now at this point. Uh, we also see Ixo up, Quasar up 28% at 7 cents now almost, which is great to see. Neutron up 26% at 75 cents. So you just see across the board, double digits green. If we look at uh, Celestia also, absolutely crazy here, 12 US dollars right now, which is great to see. Atom specifically um, back above uh, $10, almost at $11 right now. And our Osmosis finally, finally, re-pegging to $1 as it seems. And then we've got Injective, probably the biggest winner in crypto. Year to date, uh, I think in January, they were trading at like $2 or even below that. Now 25, making actually new all-time highs. I think it's the first coin that's been around in the last bull run that is now making new all-time highs. So congratulations if you held a lot of INJ. You got very nicely rewarded. Um, this must be like a 15 or 20x at this point already. And we haven't even probably started with a bull run, to be honest. Like, I personally think this is not the bull run yet. We might actually see also further corrections. Um, and then, obviously, when the ETF approval gets announced, which is within the next 30 days, then we'll see one big, crazy green candle, um, probably some sideways uh, and retracement after that. Um, and then I think 2024, mid-2024, is when the actual bull run starts. So... In a bear market, obviously, never underestimate how low we can go. But in a bull run, never underestimate how high we can go. So this is how Cosmos looks like right now. And it is just very great to see. Quick update here on my Cosmos tutorial challenge. We are actually on our way to reach break even. We started this channel in like February or March of 2022. So almost two years ago, um, just after the bull run. So when Cosmos had a little bull run after Bitcoin peaked, we started this channel with the main goal to actually track the creation of the interchain in real time with real money, doing airdrops with real money. And as you can see, we got the Celeste airdrop, which is now the biggest pos position in this portfolio for absolutely free, worth 3.2K right now, fully staked. And this one is going to breed me a lot of airdrops in the bull run as well. Atom, that gave me a lot of airdrops already, is going to give me even more so in the weeks to come. For example, we're getting the Anoma Namada airdrop, fully eligible for that one. We also got the, um, the Nom airdrop, which I've been compounding here on this wallet as well. And you're going to see the results of this quite soon. Um, Stargaze now finally making moves. And the first Stargaze purchase was made when Stargaze was at 32 cents. And then we've been buying another bag here at 3.7 cents, cost averaging down after being down over 90% here. This really is the power of cost averaging. We're still down on this purchase of 3.7 cents. We're now at 2 cents. So if I were to buy right now, I would even cost average further down. But through staking rewards and also I bought uh, after the filter NFTs that are, in my view, also going to blow up in the bull run. We are going to, uh, we already got it down to 3.5 cents, our average cost. And I think this is easily going back to 50, 70, 80 cents in the bull run, right? Stargaze, severely undervalued. If you just look at the stats here, right? It's like, this is absolutely crazy. Mega candle, um, you can really see here in the last month, how we have seen explosive growth. And again, we're just coming out of this bear market. We're not even in the full bull run yet. You see also revenue accrual. Stargates also fixed their tokenomics in the bear market through unchained governance. You see the top collections here, obviously bad kids here on the top. BitKids, which was airdropped for holding bad kids. 
after the filter NFTs, which only has a $500,000 market cap, BetKids actually only have a $20 million market cap, floor right now being almost 100,000 stars, which is um, just shy of 2,000 US dollars. So things are things are moving. And this is all real organic traction. This is not just narrative and speculation, like projects like Stargaze, projects like even Osmosis, right, that are now also waking up, are actual, actually generating revenue. They actually have strong product market fit. Um, and it's just a new, uh, a, a, a new revival for the Cosmos ecosystem where all these coins are bouncing massively. Um, I also opened this little long position here um, as I also registered for the Levana airdrop. So just a small position here. I'm not a trader. I don't encourage you to trade. I don't actually want you to leverage trades specifically if you don't have any experience. If you're not a professional trader and want to experiment with it, a very, very little amounts with very low leverage, but please don't trade. It is uh, it is really also addictive, right? And it's in the end of the day, if you don't know what you're doing, you're just gambling, right? So I'm just doing this here to maximize eligibility for the Levana airdrop. And Osmosis today also re-enters the top 100. And in my view, is going to be a top 40, 30, maybe even a top 20 coin in this next bull run, right? So there's still a long, long way to go. This is going to be in the billions. And yeah, Osmo also massively decreased their inflation in the bear market, um, even lowered the max supply, implemented a taker fee, which also means that it accrues real revenue right now. Um, massive revenue and it's just beautiful to see so cosmos is back then we also have uh, big updates about fmos after i kept you posted on this they announced fmos 2.0 you can watch a full review on that what this all means here on this channel then they announced that they're basically pivoting more towards the ethereum community there's still a full-on cosmos chain so people are uh, actually conflicting that sometimes uh, it doesn't mean that they're abandoning Cosmos. It just means they're focusing more on Ethereum developers, which is an EVM chain, makes a lot of sense. And there's this proposal right now, a burning mechanism, which would do three things. Number one, it would burn all Cosmos transaction fees to drive adoption of EVM extensions. If you don't know what EVM extensions are, go watch my FMOS 2.0 video. Retiring the usage of incentive model module with 0% allocation and reduce tokens issuance by 66.6%, massive decrease in inflation, and to burn 100% of the ERP-1559 base fee for unregistered contracts, 70% turnout almost, 99.7% voting for yes here. So this proposal is actually most likely to, to pass, only one day remaining here to vote. So keep an eye on FMOS as well. It's also part here of my portfolio challenge that I've been compounding now for a very long time. Um, and it's just beautiful. So. Things are recovering, things are retracing. You also see people outside of the Cosmos ecosystem are now getting onto the Bad Kids train. The creator of Backpack, Madlets, NFTs, and Anchor um, is now also uh, a Stargaze user and Bad Kids NFT holder. And this caused a bit of euphoria amongst also the, the Twitter community. So great to see that we're getting out there and you know chihuahua has also been on a crazy run so also a lot of people are starting to learn about cosmos because of these things right nfts and meme coins are culture and ultimately they are magnets for user acquisition also quick update here from sexy dome um our validator if you are delegated to us on these networks loom network quicksilver qck ixo or bitsong btsg then please redelegate. We're shutting down these validators. We're shutting down those nodes. This is pretty much purely based on economic sustainability. We've been validating on these chains for a long time. Um, throughout the bear market, to be honest, it has been really harsh. We also had this FMOS incident where we reimbursed uh, 84,000 US dollars to our delegators. Um, and yeah, a lot of chains have been very, very um, unprofitable throughout the bear market, which is totally normal and also fine. And of course, we also just want to contribute our best and secure networks as much as we can. We are um, leaving those networks, and it doesn't mean that we believe now that these coins are all doomed. Um, so it's you know we we really wish the team and the community all the best. I think there are still interesting things happening in all of these chains. 
um, in their mission, in their vision. And right now we are in 20 test nets. So there's also a lot of chains that are in the making that we are validating on. And um, yeah, we just have to reallocate our resources here. So Loom Network, Q QCK, Ixu, and BTSG, please redelegate if you're currently delegated to us on these chains to Stakesito. That said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing over the years. This has been a crazy journey now. And really, I feel that we're getting out of these two bearish years and finally have some positivity. People starting to make money again. And yeah, positivity, good vibes only. This is what you're going to be finding here on this channel. And in two days, on Thursday, I'm going to be on Crypto Banter, which is where I'm really excited for. And really grateful, to be honest, also for this opportunity by Ran and the Crypto Banter team to be on their channel. So that's it for me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay safe and be good.